Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to uh, solve some division number stories that involve measurement. We're in our math journal on pages 248 and 249. However, as you can see at the bottom of your screen, I have embedded a photograph taken from my kitchen table, and it shows us the inside front cover of our math journal. And on that inside front cover is a conversion table of common measurements. It shows us both customary or uh, United States uh, measurement systems, and then it shows us the metric system. Okay, So the inside front cover is going to be a valuable tool for you uh, when it comes to solving these problems. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, so each of these story problems is going to involve a different type of measurement system or different kinds of units. So you'll need to refer to that table frequently. So let's jump right in. The fourth graders at Barcelona Elementary School voted to hold their spring celebration at a local skating rink. The fourth grade student council is in charge of renting the skating rink and planning the celebration. Help the student council make plans by answering the questions below. So let's look at problem number one. The skating rink can be rented for a full session. We'll do some highlighting as we go. A full session or a half session, which is half as long as a full session. A full session is seven hours and 30 minutes. The student council wants to rent the skating rink for a half session. How many minutes long is a half session? Okay. So there's a couple parts to this problem. The first thing is we need to figure out how many minutes a full session is and then determine how many minutes a half a session would be. Or basically divide the number of minutes for a full session by two. Okay, so let's set up our number model. Now it is useful to know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if there are 60 minutes in an hour, the first thing I would need to do is multiply the number of hours, 7, times the number of minutes per hour, which is 60. And then I'm going to add that total to 30, and that's going to give me my, my total amount of minutes in a full session. Okay? Well, I know that 7 times 6 is 42, and if I multiply 7 times 6 tens, that's going to give me 42 tens, otherwise known as 420. Now, I'm going to add 420 to 30, and I'm going to do that vertically so I can line up my place value so I don't try to add my tens to my hundreds column. 420 plus 30 is going to give me 450. So that's my total amount of minutes in a full session. But what I'm being asked to find is the number of minutes in a half session. So... I've already used one set of parentheses here, so now I'm going to throw in a second set of parentheses because I'm going to take my total 450 minutes, I'm going to divide it by 2, that is going to give me my answer. I'm going to use the letter H as my unknown. So I have to divide 450 by 2. So let's set that problem up. I'm going to set it up over here. I'm going to use the long division model. Of course, long division, you divide, you multiply, you subtract, you bring down, you check your answer, and if needed, you repeat or you provide a remainder. So what am I dividing? Well, I'm going to put my dividend, 450, into my bracket, and my divisor is 2. So first thing I need to do is ask myself, how many groups of 2 can I get out of 4? Well, of course... That is 2, because I know that 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to subtract the difference, which is 0, and I'm going to bring down the 5. Now, 5 is bigger than 2, so I repeat the process. And I'm going to get the same number of groups out of 5 than I can out of 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, and the difference between 5 and 4 is just 1. Now, I'm going to bring down my 0, which tells me again that what's left is bigger than my divisor, so I can get more groups of uh, 2 out of this number. So again, I'm going to divide. Now this time, I'm going to get 5 groups, 5 groups of 2, because 5 times 2 is 10, and then I'm going to subtract the difference, 
I'm left with zero. There's nothing more to bring down, so I am done. So how many minutes total is a half session? Well, that would be 225 minutes. And that's how I was able to solve that. I was able to solve it, 225 minutes, because I knew that there are 60 minutes in an hour, converting units. Okay? Now then, let's try another problem. Okay. Uh, I'm going to jump down to number three because this one deals with linear me measurement. Tara, the president of the student council, wants to decorate the handrail around the skating rink with balloons. She wants each string tying a balloon to the handrail to be about five feet long. If she has 60 yards of string, how many balloons can she tie to the handrail? Okay, so now what we need to know is how many feet are in the yard. And if I look at my conversion table on the inside front cover, it tells us that there are three feet to one yard, okay? So here's my number model. I need to figure out how many groups of five feet I can get out of 60 yards. So again, I'm going to start with my 60 yards right here. What I need to do is I need to multiply 60 yards times 3 feet. So how many groups of 3 can I get out of... I'm sorry. How many groups of uh, feet can I get out of 60 yards? Okay. Well, I'm going to multiply 60 times 3. Well, again, 6 times 3 is 18, so 60, or 6 tens times 3 is going to give me 18 tens, otherwise known as 180. Okay, so now I know how many feet of string I have. I have 180 feet. 60 yards times 3, 180. So now I'm going to divide my amount into groups of 5, 5 foot lengths. Okay, so I'm going to divide 180 by 5. Okay, well, I know that's not going to uh, end in a remainder because 5 multiplied is always going to give me an answer that ends in a 5 or a 0. So we're in pretty good shape right here. But let's set up our problem again. So I'm going to divide 180 by 5. Well, I can't get any groups of 5 out of 1, so I'm just going to jump to 18. Uh, how many groups of 5 can I get out of 18? Well, I can get at least 3, because 5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to subtract the difference. Oops, it's not 0. Try that again. It's 3. I was jumping ahead because I was thinking about bringing down this 0. 18 minus 15 is 3. Bring down the 0, that gives me 30. So I ask myself, can I get groups of 5 out of 30? And the answer is yes, because 30 is bigger than 5. Now, I know my multiplication tables, and I know that 6 times 5 gives me 30, and I'm going to be left with no remainder, like we predicted. So how many uh, lengths of 5 foot string can I get out of 60 yards? Well, it looks to be 36 strings, or 36 balloons can be strung up using those parameters. Now, if I'm not sure that my answer is correct, I can always double check with multiplication. Multiplication and division are two sides of the same coin. So if I want to confirm that 180 divided by 5 is 36, I could set up a multiplication problem to prove that it's right. 36 is 3 tens and 6 ones. And if I multiply each part of that by 5, 5 times 3 tens is going to give me 15 tens, otherwise known as 150. And 6 times 5 is 30. And if I add 150 plus 30, Oh, yep, you guessed it. I get 180. So that works. If you have any questions about this assignment, uh, please contact your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again tomorrow. Thank you.